Are you struggling to wean your baby from a pacifier or bottle and don't know where to start? I'm going to cover all that and more in this video. Hey parents, it's Morgan. Welcome to the Passable Parent Channel. I've been a pediatric nurse for the past 10 years specializing in early childhood development and I'm also a mom. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn notifications on so you don't miss out on any future videos. And make sure to comment down below if you have any questions. I love to hear from all of you. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support. Research and organizations such as the American Academy of Pediatrics tells us that little ones should be weaned off of pacifiers between 6 to 12 months of age. This is due to many reasons, such as the otitis media, also known as middle ear infections, as well as to prevent speech and language delays. Studies show that pacifier use beyond age 3 leads to higher rates of anterior open bites, posterior cross bites, and narrow intercuspid width, which all is fancy ways of saying they contribute to speech and language delays. When your child has a pacifier or a dummy in their mouth, they are unable to practice moving their tongue in different ways that will allow them to eventually learn how to talk. That's why if you are still using a pacifier after 12 months of age, it's very important to limit the times of use. Come up with a schedule that works for you and your little one. I recommend after six months of age to try to just keep the pacifier to use at bedtime or during naps. If taking a more gradual approach in weaning, you can also limit the locations of where your child is allowed to have the pacifier, such as just when they are in the crib or at home during certain times so they can practice becoming independent from the pacifier. As they become more independent from the pacifier, you can actually start to stretch those times between use and eventually wean altogether. If your child is older, it also can be helpful to introduce a transitional object such as a lovey or security item like a stuffed animal or blanket and explain to them that it will be taking the place of their pacifier. If your child is old enough to understand, it's really important to help them navigate this transition and explain it to them as best you can. It's also important when weaning to take into account any other stressors that may be occurring in your child's life. If you're in the middle of a big move, a new sibling, a new daycare or primary school, sleep training, potty training, etc., now might not be the best time to begin the weaning process. In an older child above 15 to 18 months of age, it can be really helpful to read books about saying goodbye to the pacifier to help them process this transition and empower them in the process. Remember that whatever approach you choose as the parent to take to wean them, cold turkey or gradual approach like I recommend, stay consistent with your child and offer them lots of love and reassurance during this time. Just like a pacifier, the bottle can be a huge source of comfort for your baby. Pediatricians and the American Academy of Pediatrics recommend starting to wean your child from a bottle at 12 months of age with a goal to be completely weaned by 15 months. This is important for many reasons, some of which include that your older baby may be filling up on liquids and skipping those solids, which should be introduced at around six months of age, leaving them missing important nutrients in their diet. Bottles without introducing those open cups at six to seven months can lead to speech and language delays and an increased risk of those ear infections. I recommend the sooner to that 12 months of age that you can start the process of weaning from the bottle, the better. Habits are developed over time, and the longer your baby goes with a bottle, the harder it will be to get them to wean from it. While weaning cold turkey may work for some babies, I have found a gradual transition starting around 12 months of age tends to be best. A gradual transition means dropping one bottle feeding session at a time, morning or midday tends to be easier to drop initially rather than at nighttime or evening ones. Instead, offer and encourage your child to drink from an open training cup or a cup with a straw. Wait a few days and up to a week before dropping the next bottle session. I do not recommend sippy cups and rather I suggest skipping the use of them altogether as they mimic the same motion your child uses to take the bottle which can lead to those issues I mentioned earlier. An open cup or a cup with a straw allows your child to practice different tongue and mouth movements from a bottle which actually helps them to learn to talk sooner and build the important tongue and mouth muscles needed for speech and language development. Remember to take the process of weaning from the bottle slow, offer extra love, affection, and reassurance during this time. Time the weaning process so that there are no major life changes taking place during this time. Sit at the table with your baby in a high chair across from you with your undivided attention and offer them that open cup or cup with straw during meal times. And lead by example by also drinking out of a similar cup for them to see. 
Your baby loves everything that you do and you are the best teacher. And finally, hide the bottle from sight during the weaning process. As a parent, it's up to you to decide when it's time to wean your child from a bottle, a pacifier, or a dummy. This is not an easy task for parents considering it has been a source of great comfort for the little one. I wish you the best of luck in your journey and during this process. And make sure to subscribe so you don't miss on any of my future videos on all things early childhood development and giving your baby the best start possible in life. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next video.